Today we're going to talk about gamma and lighting. What is gamma? Well, the gamma rays and so on, but we're going to talk a little bit later. Let's focus a little bit on our Vadio HD18 camera. The Vadio HD18 camera has adjustable gamma. This means that you will be able to set your gamma point to where you get the best results. So what is gamma? Way back when the CRT was invented, it was noticed that you needed a different voltage to get brightness out of it. It was not linear. So you needed a lot of voltage to get a little bit light out of it. And then as you were increasing that voltage, you were getting more and more light. Since it was not linear, that curve, which you see in this slide here, was called gamma. In order to get a picture out of the CRT, you had to do what it was called gamma correction. So the camera was burdened with the fact that it had to do the opposite, so that the end result was a linear output from the CRT. So if gamma was one on the camera, when it was reaching the CRT, everything was very, very dark. But when the gamma was corrected, which means at very low signals, you have a very high gain, it would do exactly the opposite of what the CRT was doing on the other side. CRT is a cathode ray too. So at the end result was a linear output of light. In this chart here, you see the gamma curve of 2.2 of the CRT and the video gamma, which is 0.45, which compensates for that. So the end result would be linear. The gamma correction now allows you to adjust the video gamma to compensate above or below the CRT gamma. Now you wonder, we almost don't use CRT tubes anymore. Well, unfortunately, we're carrying this on. So although the LCD panels, which we all have, and future flat panels are all linear, so people would wonder, hey, why don't we do the camera linear? Actually, the latest high-end cameras do have that mode, which is the gamma off mode. And then you see it on your LCD panel, which is the professional, so you can do gamma off, which is going to give you a gorgeous picture. Because you're not just pre-distorting anything. And at the output, it's not distorted. But because of this mixture of CRTs and LCDs in the current market, we're still forced to produce images with gamma correction on it. So what happens if gamma is off? In this picture, you see everything is pretty much dark and very high contrast. If we overcompensate, everything becomes washed out. And as we mentioned on session one, this picture may look softer to you. It is not softer, it just doesn't have the same contrast ratio. When gamma is normal, the picture shows all its beauty the contrast, the detail, and the colors. But again, you may compensate by adjusting gamma up or down to satisfy your lighting needs. In situations where the contrast and the lighting is too harsh, you can lower gamma so that it's softer. The same thing when your lighting is very soft, there's not enough contrast, you can create some more contrast by changing your gamma setting in your camera. So the gamma, the ability to adjust gamma on your camera compensate for sometimes impossible to correct lighting situations. We'll talk more about dynamic range and other ways to adjust your picture in the next session.